comes to shopping, I don't particularly enjoy it. I mean, I'm, I'm a house mouse. I like to stay indoors, I enjoy reading, and occasionally I would really love gaming if I have the chance. However, I know someone who's really into shopping. Q Salty Crafter. Salty Crafter loves shopping so much, whether it be grocery shopping, clothes shopping, and yes, even craft kit shopping. And if I just put her into a craft kit store, like Toys R Us, it's almost like Christmas every day. And so today we have two craft kits from Toys R Us that Salty Crafter herself chose them for us. I would say that my hope level for these two kits is not here, not even here, but like all the way down. You can't even see it. That's where my hope is. But Jackie, what are these kits? I'm glad you asked. The first one is called So Frosted So 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 Fun Soap Kit. Holy moly, there's a lot of S's here. This soap DIY kit does look really cute. However, my biggest concern on this one, as usual, is that the items on top are photoshopped. This cupcake soap thing 100% looks photoshopped, so I'm kind of curious. The next one has a super cute unicorn right on top, but we all know that cuteness doesn't mean that it would go in the trash. But we'll find out. This one is called Sugar Bombs, Surprise Fizzy Bath Bombs. We don't know much about this kit other than the fact that it's just frosty, I think, and it says there are three surprises inside. So we're going to find out together whether these kits are worth your cash or if they go in the trash. Also, I forgot to mention. <clears throat> Salty Crafter found both of these kits in the discount bin. You know what that means? <laughs> and by the way, for those of you new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe, otherwise I will wave a sharp pointy thing at you. Make sure you click on all notifications while you're there. You like it, don't you? Our first victim, I mean kit, So Soap DIY. This kit is absolutely adorable. I am a little skeptical when it comes to soap making crafts because usually they don't deliver what they say. They give you expectations up here and then they bring it down. Even though in my mind, it's this much, but emotionally, as I mentioned, the photoshopping on this box is absolutely phenomenal. Why are you photoshopping your own end results? If you can't have your end result on the box itself, something is wrong. So make sure you grains check that out first. The process should be simple enough according to the box. Mix, decorate, and add a character. At the bottom, it clearly says, it's soap, not food. Do not eat. I feel like this specific warning was made for my sister Sika, who sometimes joins me. Not Why edible. Why am I even here? Because grains want to see you. But I thought you said there was food for me. How come there's no food? Like, my life means nothing without it. Oh, Because she just wants to eat everything. Once we turn the box around, we can see that there are six characters to collect. But again, the amount of photoshopping under these characters is, um... Look at me. But it does seem like the materials on the inside should, in theory, be fun because we do get to do piping. So if everything works out, we should be able to make frosting soap. How exciting is that? Very excited. I know I said expectations are down here, but excitement level still doesn't stop me. St I'm still excited. I still want this to work because they always break up my heart. These craft kits, they bring my expectations sometimes up here and my excitement level up here. And then they just take my excitement and they throw it away and it hurts so much. You're so dramatic. By the way, let me know in the comment section below which one of these two kits do you have the least hope on? They're both in a discount bin, but I'm going to say that the one I have the least hope on is the Unicorn Bath Bombs. But we'll see. For those of you wondering, this did cost Salty Crafter $12.18, discounted from $19.99. Enough jibba jabba. Time to see what we get inside. What? What's the smell? What? Why? Immediately, as soon as I took these out of the box, it started smelling like someone's old jeans. And I'm talking not the rest of the jeans, but the area where, um... The back area? What? It smells like ass, is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> it's gross. 
I don't know why. It smells really gross. It's probably not the contents on the inside, but most likely the plastic. I don't understand. <coughs> why? What did I do to deserve this? Gross. Here's what we get inside. Three cream powders in purple, pink, and yellow. Even though the purple and pink are pretty much similar looking, I'm hoping once they get wet, they'll be a different color. Get your minds out of the gutter. Three piping bags and tips. Two charms that kind of feel like erasers. A measuring spoon with a little bit of a warning to say that we need to fill it to this line over here instead of all the way to the top. We don't really need this anymore. Decorations in form of sprinkle and stars. Now I'm really curious because in the previous soap kit that I had, which included sprinkles, the sprinkles on the inside were actually edible and uh, sweet. So I know I said this because she just wants to eat everything. And I kind of called out my sister, but I'm going to take the plunge and take a bite. But remember, don't be a Jackie. Do as I say and not as I do. <laughs> Smells stale. This is what they look like. And bottoms up. It actually does taste sweet, but there is an after hint kind of flavor of soap. It's not soapy. It is sweet. But I guess that's because it was manufactured with soap. Probably I say with the high pitch voice. And I have no idea what these stars are supposed to be. So I feel like they could be candy, but they could also be plastic. They have this starfishy type look. What? Summer and construction are always... Oh my god, I can't do a video like this! Now that we have silence, let's take a bite out of this. Also candy. So it's good to know that they are not giving us anything that's plastic of this size that would go down the drain. Kudos to them for not giving us glitter that is harmful for the environment. So, you get a point. Next we have three soap bases. This one is supposed to be strawberry. No. No. This smells like beer. I kid you not, this 100% smells like a blonde beer. Interesting. But also, if you couldn't think that a company would make a cupcake mold, it's actually hollow on the inside. Talk about cutting costs. Purple is supposed to be bubblegum. It only smells like soap. Very disappointing. Is my nose broken? Nose, are you broken? Like normally you can sniff well. What's going on? Yeah, it just, just smells like soap. And then blue is supposed to be pineapple. So, so far, we know that there are smell issues in this kit. No, still smells like beer. Like what's going on? Why do these soaps smell like beer? And why do these packets Smell like butt. This is supposed to be a soap experience. I'm supposed to be calming down. All it's doing is aggravating me. And last but not least, we get a cute little octopus dessert figure. It just smells like plastic like it should. With all the different interesting smells in here, I told you what this one smells like, and I told you what that one smells like. Pretty sure it just smells like a pub at this point. So interestingly enough, the container that the character came in doubles up as a bowl to mix our cream. And in order to do that, we're just going to take one packet of the powder, crunch it up to make sure no lumps are in there. <coughs> Why? Why does this smell like butt? So at first I thought it was the plastic, but obviously I'm wrong. The inside smells way more gross. It's like you have your nose really in there. And I'm talking about a non-clean butt, because clean butts should be fine. I don't know why I'm talking about butts right now, but you know what I mean. <laughs> Suddenly very nauseous. This smells really bad. Like, is this expired? It doesn't say. Let's just keep going. And then add one scoop of water in which we were supposed to add the water below the line. And then all we have to do is stir it. And weirdly enough, they tell us to stir it, but not too much so that it doesn't get liquidy. I'm not sure how that works. Usually the more you stir something, the stiffer it gets. That's just me. I don't know things. 
I'm not aware in which universe that cottage cheese is too liquidy or perfect to be some kind of frosting because here I am mixing it too much which is just letting the water be absorbed and this is what we're getting it's not frosting consistency if you look at it here it's a paste but it's not a frosting and it's really dry look at this this is not frosting Interestingly, on Amazon, it's $6.89, discounted even more. But it seems to have four stars, and I just can't believe this. However, upon further inspections, the reviews that are most helpful actually have one star. And it's about the frosting consistency and, and all that stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and try putting this inside the frosting bag and, and see what happens. And then we're going to try a second one and add a little bit more water to see where it goes. But don't worry, for now let's do the exact instructions and then we'll try and get a little creative. It doesn't fit. I can just basically grab the frosting. Those of you who do baking and soap, let me know if soap frosting is supposed to be this gross. Alright, all right, let's... See what we got. So here's our soap frosting. Let's go ahead and see how we can push it out the nozzle. At this point, it just feels like kinetic sand, to be honest. And the answer is nope. 100% no. Yep, that's how hard I'm pressing. So let's go ahead and do our frosting. I think this time, as you can see, the consistency does push through. So their instructions are absolute trash. Hopefully they do stick on, but I guess we will find out. They do not give further instructions. So here we go. And we're going to add our unicorn horn right here. Now, although it does seem pretty cute as it is, keep in mind I used one and a half packs to get this height. And it's not like I'm being ambitious. If we look at the box itself, the height of the cream is pretty, pretty up there. And yet it took me one and a half packs just to get this, which means in theory they don't give us enough. Which means in theory again, each soap, if we're paying the price that I mentioned at the beginning, which is the non-discounted price of $20, each one of these will cost you this much. Somehow I don't think um, this is a bargain. Not even a great activity, it still smells like beer. Oh, and one last thing about the cream. The cream frosting is a cosmetic cream and safe for use on the body, but does not provide cleansing function. So basically this cream is as useless cleaning you as it is me trying to follow a calendar that I set for myself, which means it's absolutely useless. And so in my opinion, this kit goes in the trash. And don't mind me, I feel like this here is called soap kit, but I figured there's a better way to call this, as you grains may or may not know. And now our next victim, there's no point in sugarcoating it, there are no victims. There's no point in hiding how salty, salty crafter is, but interestingly enough, the more she's salty, the happier she is. She's weird, this one, but I, I still care about her. Sugar Bombs Surprise Fizzy Bath Bombs. This whole kit oozes unicorns and fluffiness and pink, and even the top part is a rainbow frosting that's just kind of hanging out. I mean, it, it even seems like we have a unicorn zodiac sign. Not quite sure, but I like it. I like unicorns. I love them so much. And when we turn the box around, it does seem like we have two bath bombs, but it does say that we can be decorating three of them. Similarly to the previous kit, we have the option, well, the, the potential of doing a frosting. You know what the previous kit did to me? In the trash! So I feel like my expectations for this one are, are still pretty low. Sometimes when your expectations are too high, it leaves too much room for disappointment. This is what these craft kits have done to me, dang <laughs> These craft kits have made me jaded! Why? This is supposed to be fun! <coughs> oh, salt is coming up. Let's dance. Dance with me, salt. At the 
front of the box, we have our favorite sentence of all time. Includes everything you need. If you are curious, this was discounted from $15 to $9.98, which means that every bath bomb is this price here. Time to see what we get inside. Here's what we get inside. Three bath bombs in yellow, pink, and white. And they smell like any bath bombs. Three colors of soap whipped base. Turquoise, blue, and purple. Do they smell like anything is the question. No. No. We get two types of sprinkle, both in star and the uh, roundy one. Y'all know I'm gonna try them because and nobody gonna stop me. And I obviously need adult supervision, but nobody's here. Very sugary. Tastes much better than the previous one, but still gross. And now the circle ones. Candy also. Next we have one of the worst things that they could put in any kind of bath bomb kit, which is glitter. Don't ever use glitter unless it specifically says that it is environmentally friendly and dissolves. It's not made to be in your skin or on your skin, so don't use these types of glitters down the drain. Nay. Dissolvable confetti. I'm curious. We're gonna try and see how dissolvable it is and more dissolvable What's it called? Um, designs. That's the word I was looking for. We also get a bowl. This is again We have two kits that provided the bowl. I mean the first one was really terrible, but at least this one We also get a bowl. So our companies watching me Companies are you watching me? <laughs> Well, I mean, if they are watching me, hopefully they can only get better, right? And of course we get the instruction sheet I'll get back to you a few moments later. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Grains, this is not good. We are not starting off well. So here are the instructions for decorating the bath bombs. However, in really tiny under the title, look how tiny it is. Not for consumption, obviously. Not recommended for using in the bath. Soap for decoration only, no cleaning function. Anyone who would pick up this box would obviously think that these are bath bombs that you can decorate and use in the bathtub. I mean, it's showing fizziness. It's using the word bombs, which are associated with bath bombs. We also have clearly written in big with soap. And we see all these different bubbles automatically someone might gift this as a bath bomb kit, might actually not pay attention to the tiny detail that this is not soap. They really need to advertise this on the front of the box, not for use in bathtub. And yet that is not the case. Someone could get harmed because they put chemicals in there that is not for use in a bathtub. Like this is really sneaky advertisement. This just feels like sneaky and bad intentioned, just to kind of get you to buy it. But let's look at the process. All it is is that you decorate it and you let it dissolve. That's the activity. That's what we're doing. So let's make the assumption that you do want an activity in which it is not a bath bomb, but just decorating sugar bombs. And you just want to see it dissolve because there are surprises inside those, those little spheres. Not quite spheres, but you, you know what I mean. So let's take one of the dissolvable little decorations and see how well it actually dissolves. Is it okay for your drains? Is it going to be sticky and gross? And the answer is, yeah, it dissolves. It's okay. Not quite sure what it is, but it does have a stickiness to it. So now we're going to put the water away and we're going to decorate the yellow sugar cube. Uh, it's not a cube anymore. It's like I don't know my shapes. I promise. I promise. I graduated preschool. I'm okay. So I added the piping tip to the turquoise one. It's kind of greenish. Let's see what the consistency looks like. And that looks really nice. I have to admit that looks really, really pretty. Let's use all three colors. The consistency is very pasty. And so I went ahead and decorated the sugar sphere. I'm just gonna call it the sh sugar bowl. And added a little bit of every single decoration. Now at this point, I'm starting to add the circle sprinkles. I am just kind of laying them down there. I am sure Mariah Elizabeth is quaking because I'm not putting each sprinkle one at a time. So random. So I'm sorry, Mariah. I have to admit the activity itself was relaxing. There was nothing special about it, but it wasn't annoying either. I feel like if this here were at five below, so for those of you who don't know what that is, it's a store where everything is $5 and under. It, it could definitely be an activity for a few minutes. It took me all of three minutes to put it together, so. 
Now the instructions do say that once it's decorated, we can just submerge it in the water immediately. It doesn't say we need to wait. It doesn't say leave it overnight or anything like it. It just says once it's decorated and you're happy with it, now it's time to absolutely destroy it. So here I have the basin of water that they provided up to a third full because I have no idea how much this is going to fizz. And we're supposed to be getting our surprise from this. So, grains ready? Let's listen. That's underwhelming. I'll be back with more water. All right, I am back with more water. Let's see what happens. Let's go all the way. Let's live wild. See, live, live on the edge is my motto in life. So I'm um, pretty sure the box cover showed a lot of bubbles. I'm pretty sure this is, those are not bubbles. I was just about to praise it just previously. And then it does this to me. Companies, why? Why? For shame. Dishonor on you and dishonor on your cap. <laughs> is, this, is this going anywhere? <laughs> is this going anywhere? Where's the fizzing action? So it's been sitting in the water for close to two minutes thus far and we're, we're not getting anywhere. Oh no, that's not what I meant. <laughs> dang <it. laughs> oh, dang it. Maybe we can bathe you. There you go. Now you have a nice bath with water coming from every direction. Still nothing. Here we are 10 minutes later. The excitement is palpable. My heart is beating so fast. Look at these bubbles. Oh, we just lost another bubble. Look how exciting this is. In case you couldn't tell, I'm very sarcastic. <laughs> Why are these kids doing this to me? Grains. What? Now at this point, I think I've lost all patience. I just want to see what surprise is on the inside. So we will use our trusty sharp pointy thing and just dig, dig, ugh dig right through. Yeah, I didn't think this was going to dry, was it? Let's just see what's the surprise that that's super exciting. It's supposed to be a ring according to the instructions. So go through I'm like excavating and here it is. So the surprise we're getting is a plastic Minnie Mouse type ring. Curious to see the other ones? So am I. Let's just go through them without the water. I'm going to go ahead and smash it with an acrylic roller. Hopefully that doesn't ruin the entire desk, but we'll see. Let's do this together. No, we need water. In you go. Oh, the excitement. <laughs> and while this is dissolving, let's go ahead and put the pink one that might as well. And we're going to help speed the process. So I think this should have gotten enough water. I'm just going to go ahead and squeeze. Seems to be like another plastic pink ring. So here we have a rose, which is really similar to the little, you know, those machines that you find at malls that you could just get those 25 cent type rings. That's basically what this is. And in the pink one, oh, is that another rose? Nope, we get a teddy bear this time. And this teddy bear is holding a heart and I believe it says love. Actually, it says absolutely nothing. I think it's a good thing that these are not made for the bathtub because now my fingers are stained with the color of the water. Can you imagine taking a bath and coming out dirtier than you went in? I don't know. I don't know how to close the camera. My hands are wet. Help! <laughs> And so my verdict, especially after washing my hands and they are still pretty stained, the fun factor and playability of this kit are absolutely just trash. It's the best thing I can say. We are essentially just creating a big pile of waste and they have not even fully dissolved. Luckily, they do give us a bowl because imagine using your own and having all of this gunk. I personally have no idea where I want to pour this because I don't want it to stay in my tub. I don't want it to stay in my toilet. And I obviously don't want to throw it outside either. So I think the more we avoid this kit, the better it's going to be in terms of reducing waste and just, just overall annoyances. 100%, this kit goes in the trash. Let me know how you grains feel. Did you feel any of them could have been worth your cash or do you agree with me and they, they, they belong where I said they do? If you want to watch more Cash or Trash, make sure you check up here. And if you if you want to watch, I'm gonna I'm, I want to show off my hands now. If you want to watch a crafting video, especially a My Little Pony custom, make sure you check over here. This week's shoutouts go to Josiah Multiplier, Anwisha Gupta, I'm a Barbie Girl. I'm not gonna say more than that. Color Horde, Uncon Cultured Celery, and SRU23. Until then, I will see you grains in the next video.